Hey guys, this is Saurabh Nahar here from Alba Technologies and you're watching the Benchmarks review of the HTC One M9 Plus. So, let's begin. Now, before starting, let me show you that I have installed only Benchmark applications on this device and nothing else so that I can get the perfect scores on this device. Now let's start with multi-touch points on the HTC One M9 Plus. Let's see how many multi-touch points do we have here. So you can see that it detects more than 5 fingers. Now let's see if it can detect more than 5 fingers. And as you can see that it detects around 10 fingers. So we have 10 multi-touch points on this device. Now let's take a look at the CPU-Z application. We have MediaTek X10 Helio processor which is clocked at 2.2 GHz. You can see all the 8 cores over here. It is octa-core processor. The GPU is PowerVR GPU. If we go into system, the model number is HTC One M9 Plus. The Android version is 5.0.2 which is Lollipop. You can see the screen size and the resolution is 1440 by 2560 You can see the available RAM and available storage. Here is the battery related information. We also have a lot of sensors over here, accelerometer, gyroscope, proximity, light sensor, magnetic sensors and a lot of sensors. So you can pause the video and take a look at the sensors. Now let's quickly run Nina Mark to benchmark to see the FPS score on this device. And the scores are here. The score is 59.1 FPS which is very decent, not that great. Now let's run Quadrant Standard Benchmark. I will be running the full benchmark test. So you can see the score is here. The score is 25,878. You can see all the details at the bottom over here. Now let's run Antutu Benchmark and I am running the 64-bit Antutu Benchmark test. And the scores are here. The score is 48,882. You can see it is above Meizu MX4 and also Galaxy Note 4. You can see all the details over here in case you want to know that. You can pause the video and take a look at the details. Now let's run Geekbench 3 benchmark. While running this benchmark, I forgot to turn on my internet connection and that is the reason I was getting this error. After which I turned on my internet connection and ran it again. And I was getting the score of 1007 for single core and 5213 for multi core. Now one thing which is worth mentioning is that I was trying to run the benchmarks for multiple times and I was getting different scores every time. So I turned off my HTC One M9 Plus and kept it aside for 15 to 20 minutes. And after that when I turned it on and ran the benchmark I got the score of 48,000 and more than that. You have already seen the score. So this was the thing which I wanted to share with you guys. So that's about it guys. Thank you guys for watching. This was the quick benchmark review of HTC One M9 Plus. Hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please hit that like button down below because it helps us a lot. Also post your comments and queries in the comment section. I try to answer most of them. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus and the links for the same will be in the description. So check them out. And you can also subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And I'll be coming up with a lot of videos on HTC One M9 Plus. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because only then you will be notified regarding my videos. This is Saurav Nahar here from Alva Technologies. Thank you guys for watching.